Okay, let's see here. Shalom, shalom, Akim. It's got a little delay, but it's all good. Shalom, Akim, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, 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 Back with another lesson through the spirit. All right, Lord willing, it's edifying. Before we go any further, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahushai. Yahushai. Bahashem. Bashem. Rakakwadash. Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible. You are well. All right, and those Lawam, the sincere Akim, so the four corners of the earth. Pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And then Allah Shalom, all the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, hope for Allah Shalom. And now, uh, me and the brother was able to uh, link up through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And um, we, we're going to go into uh, the Lord told us to warn you, all right, to warn you, Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, of what's coming down the pipeline. All right. People think this place is going to bounce back. They think that things are going to continue as they once were. But that's contrary to the scriptures, man. All right. So, uh, Baba Kasha, Ezekiel 3 and 17. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. That's it, man. That's it. Start with the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, right? On down to uh, younger brothers like ourselves, all right? To what? To warn you, all right? Because this message you're not going to hear, all right, in your your, your uh, the school system, the pit system, all right? You're not going to hear this, in, in, you know, from your um, guidance counselor, even your own church pastor, man. You're not going to hear these warnings that's coming down the pipeline for you Israelites. It's called Jacob's Trouble. If you want to hold that next, Baba Kishah, Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right. The times we come up will be a tough time, mainly for you. All right. You ready for it? Kind. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. At last, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it that's right man see the time that's coming that we're warning you israelites about is a time of jacob's trouble when you read the scriptures jacob is the uh the uh progenitor or forefather of the 12 tribes of israel man all right which consists of these so-called negro latino native americans contrary if you want to believe it or not all right it's going to be a time like never before. And we're going to get into it, man. As it tells you in Matthew, the 24th chapter, the time is coming up on the earth. All right. It's like a, it's not going to be a time like it's ever been, man. All right. And people look at it sideways, family members, friends. All right. When we tell them these things, but look, it's going to happen, man. Cannibalism. All right. Starvation, famine. All right. A lack of food, bread, water, resources. A lack of hearing this word. All right, that has all the answers we need. It's going to come to a screeching halt, man. Pestilence, diseases. All right. Um, did you finish um that Ezekiel three and seventeen? Yeah. All right. Get um, if you don't have a precept, get Second Ezra uh fifteen. Matter of fact, hold that Second Ezra fifteen, and get uh Saint Luke twenty one and. See what eight says. Start at eight. Eight or nine. Luke 21. Because the Lord gave us a, a, a straight commandments, man. All right. So it won't be no mistakes when he judges you, man. 
is going to judge you by the book. So either you take heed through the prophets, start with head apostles and elders of great millstone on down, or look to be judged, man. All right, you got it, bro. Wars and commotions. It might be yeah, six. Bro. Start with the spirit tell you. You said Luke 24? 21. 21. Oh. Yeah. Baba Because these are things that's happening right before your very eyes, man. But our people that don't watch the news. All thing they do is go through TikTok all day long, man. Not knowing what's happening around them in the world. All right. And it's gonna to be to their demise for not watching. Like it tells us in second Ezra, the ninth chapter. You got it, bro. This is a uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 8. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Yeah, don't follow those who claim to be our savior, man. All right. Look, Comfy was one of them. And you saw what happened to him, as well as many others, man. Go ahead. It says, but when ye shall hear the wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must, must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. That's right, man. You see? Wars and look, I just saw on the news earlier um, about uh, what was it? Uh, uh, China testing another missile. Uh, all right, it might have been North Korea. It was one of those uh, Asian countries that's, that's out here testing missiles. But I believe it was China. All right, um, and they were testing missiles, man. What's what, what are you testing missiles for if you're not gearing up for war, man? All right. These other countries got their people in somewhat some type of order. They know that what something's getting ready to go down. That's why you had China back here probably about six months ago. All right. They stopped. Um, they told the people to stop wasting food to save money. All right. Because look, as it tells you in um, uh, uh, the book of Joel that what these other nations are going to stop putting their money into their agriculture. Right, and put it into their, their their armory, man. Their war. Okay. Meanwhile, Jake is worrying about what? The club to open up, the next spot they're gonna travel to. All right. When these other nations are gearing up to go to war with America, man. Go ahead, bro. It says verse 10. Then said unto them. Nation shall rise against nation mm -hmm. and kingdom against kingdom. Is that not what you see going on? Now, now, now they, they, they try to hide it, right, by not speaking on it. But these things are happening, man. You watch these alternative news sites, you'll see that, that, that war and commotions and uproars are, are going on, man, are going on daily. All right. Go ahead. It said, but it said, well, the scripture said, what it said, but the end is not by and by. So these things must first come to pass before we what enter to the kingdom of heaven, because that's what you should be striving for, for salvation. All right, not for this place to go on. All right. Verse 11 And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights. And great signs shall be, I mean, shall there be from heaven. That's right, man. Let me see something real fast. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking up earthquakes today. So you had, today is what, um, well, it's not giving me today. It's giving me yesterday's. All right. But still, you had an earthquake in Los Angeles. I'm sorry, in Chile. All right, a 5.7. You have 5.7 in, I can't pronounce it. Uh, man, Indonesia. All right, North Indonesia, the South <laughs> uh, Islands, South Sandwich Islands <laughs> region, uh, Tokyo, Japan, 
all right, uh, Alaska, all right, Australia. All right, so, you know, earthquakes are going on, man, at, at all these diverse places. All right, so that should be a sign to you Israelites, man, to, to what? Take heed to this warning, because the Lord is getting ready to make his re uh, return physically, man. All right, he's making his return now, the uproars of the people, these storms, these tempests, and now people are not taking heed to the signs, right? Our people want a sign from the Heavenly Father that he's on his way. Well, the signs, the prophets, it tells you in Matthew, the 16th chapter. Go ahead, bro. It says, verse 12, but before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you. Oh, that's all I wanted. You. That's all I wanted. I, um, okay. Go back to, um, if you don't have a precept, get 2nd Edges 15. 2nd Edges chapter 15. Mm-hmm. Because we got a warning of what's coming down the pipeline. All right. It said, verse 2nd Edges 15 and 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Mm-hmm. I will put in thy mouth Say if you how about Shimia was shy. Yeah, man. So the prophecy is the prophecy of the Bible, which means to tell you before. So the Lord is uh is uh is righteous with warning you of what he's about to do. He doesn't he's not just gonna spring it upon you, he's gonna give you time to what repent to turn back for your wrong with thoughts, sayings, and doings, your idol worshiping, all right, eating the bomb foods. Okay. The Lord's giving you time to repent. And we're in that time of repentance now. The doors of mercy are open now, man. Because when all hell breaks loose, when Jacob's trouble really hits the fan, all right? The Lord, it, look, man, the Lord says he's going to cut this word off. It's, it's going to be a, a famine of the word. All right? So it's going to be a, a lack of hearing this wisdom and knowledge and understanding the truth, which is able to keep you stable in these last days. You got it, bro. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. So we understand, all right, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that what is written is faithful and true. All right. We don't need to go to any other books. Remember, the scriptures say you cannot make this Bible with any other book, man. It stands alone. All right. Because what is written in here is going to come to pass, has and will. Remember Isaiah 14, the Lord said, as he had thought, so shall he stand as, as, and as his purpose. Matter of fact, let me get it because I'm, I'm just, I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. Let me get it real fast. It's Isaiah 14. Okay. And uh, 24. It says, the Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, surely as I thought, so shall it stand. So like a show shall it uh, come to pass. And I... And as I have purpose, so shall it stand. You see? So the prophecies are going to stand, man, because it's the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and his words don't go out void. Okay? You got to act. It says, verse 3, mm -hmm. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. That's right, man. We don't care about what people think about us, you know, the non-believers, all right? We don't let that get to us, man, all right? And we pray, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaki, the Spirit on us, not to worry about that crap, man, that nonsense. Ain't nobody believe in y'all. That's what you believe. You you damn right is what I believe. And you can believe what you believe. And in the end, we're going to see. At the end, we're going to see, man, okay? It says, verse 4, for all the unfaithful, shall die in their unfaithfulness there you go so the ones of our people that take this truth for a joke all right they don't want to believe all right the thing is sweet times is coming better days remember ezekiel 7 and 25 all right destruction is coming people wondering why you you know so you got an off austere look because you know the times that you're living in man it ain't fun and games. The next day could be your last. The next step could be a slippery fall, man, into destruction. 
It says, verse 5, Behold, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, I will bring plagues upon the world. And that's and that's something that people fail to realize, man. The things that's happening on the earth and what continue to happen is being brought by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Once again, who the world ignorantly and willingly calls God in Jesus Christ. Because that's not their names, man. All right? Those are Greek Renaissance titles. All right? Yahweh, he is, he exists. All right? Bahashim in the name, coming in the name. Yahweh Shah, he delivered, he saves his people, man. Matthew 1 and 21. All right? And that's their names in the Lashuan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And we believe that here on faith at Great Millstone, man. All right? You got it, bro. It says, the sword, mm -hmm. famine, mm -hmm. death, and destruction. And that's what we warned you of. The Lord's bringing a sword, which that main sword is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right? Famine, a lack of resources. You see that now. That, I saw on the news a couple of days ago, they said uh, this year is going to be the most expensive uh, Thanksgiving. Why? Because of a lack of bread, a lack of canned goods, a, la a, a lack of meat. Meat is skyrocketing, man. All right. Someone told me they went to the store to buy like a little, little pack of uh, ground beef. It was like almost ten dollars. When it was normally probably about four dollars. All right. Which meat really ain't that good for you. All right. You really shouldn't be eating like that much. But hey. It is what it is. But the point is, you know, food prices are going up, man. Everything is going up, but no no pay is going up. This, this is troubling times, man. You got it, bro. It says death and destruction. Mm, death and destruction. That don't sound like fun times to me. That don't sound like, you know, uh, you know let's roll out the... Uh, uh, the grill and start, bar, you know, throwing some a rack, a, a rack of chicken or what is it, a rack of ribs, <laughs> lawful ribs, right? You know, on the grill and just having a party and a good time. No, this is not the time for that, man. This is not the time, man. This is the time. Matter of fact, um, get Ecclesiastes, Baba Kasha. Hold that. Get Ecclesiastes three and um and uh, eight. Start at, start at one and then jump down to eight, Baba Kasha. They always think something is, is a joke in the game, man. Instead right. of taking, you got it? Yeah. Come, let's bring it out. It's Ecclesiastes 3, chapter 8. I mean, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8. A time a time to love and a time start, to start, start at the top. Oh, oh okay. Okay. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Come. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven yeah, there's a time for everything man people don't understand it's a time to joke around it's a time to play and laugh all right there's a time to be in uh always a time to be in repentance and seeking the lord all right and and, and if you've been watching and paying attention and taking heed to what the watchers been saying you will know that what this is not the time to be uh shucking and jiving man it's time to get serious about this the supreme being man the most high, your how about me? I was shot through an only begotten son, seeking salvation. Jump down to verse 8. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time to love and a time to hate. Mm -hmm. A time of war and a time of peace. Yeah. I t we just read in Luke. You should hear wars and commotions. All right. But the end is not yet. These things are happening right now, man. Look, it's a spiritual war and a physical war, man. All right? And you want to be a part of that spiritual war, right? Jake going to learn the hard way, man. They had a Jake tell me, yo, you should get a gun, man. You should get a gun. You should strap up. For what? That was Esau's blessing, man. You know, we're we, we looking, looking at things above, spiritual powers. But what scriptures say, riches are too calmly for a niggard, man. And this truth is riches, man. 
and it's too beautiful for a niggard, man. So, um, jump back. Was that in on that verse eight? Yeah. Jump back to Second Ezra fifteen, and we gonna um, we gonna read um. Uh, We're going to read verse third, 14, 15, 16, and down to 18 or 19. All right. 2nd Edgers chapter 15, <clears throat> verse 14. Uh-huh. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. Right, so what 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 what's coming, man? Destruction, swords, guns. All right. The guy that told me about, yeah, you should get a gun. Do you know it's uh you can uh uh, uh open what do you say, open, carry, conceal, weapon, something like that in North Carolina? You think I give a damn about that man? <laughs> you, you you think I care about that man? Destruction is coming and, and your gun is not gonna deliver you, man. Remember Psalms tells you not to trust in your bow. Matter of fact, let me get that real fast. Get that real fast. This is Psalms 44 and 6. It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. And what's the modern day bow and sword? The gun. You see? So we're not going to trust in that in these last days, man. Uh, you got it, bro. This is second there, 15 and 15. For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Yeah, different uh class wars gonna be going on. All right. The haves against the have nots. Okay. All out chaos, man. Go ahead. It says, For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another. Yeah, a bunch of rebellion going on, man. Inciting the crowd. All right, to move a certain way. It says, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yeah, your your, your local uh, uh mayors, governors, right, presidents. They're not going to regard anything they have to say because, look, man, when you don't have anything, everything else is out the door. Everything else is out the door, man. You can't feed yourself. You don't have a roof over your head. You have nowhere to go. You may have children that need uh, uh, protection, that needs feeding, that needs uh, everything that, that, that keeps your life on track, man. When those things go out the door with this upcoming famine of food, bread, water, and resources, watch what the people do. When you start taking away people's liberties, watch what the people do, man. Here it is. You, you, they, they, they're uh, mandating these um, these crown royals to the people, but yet the uh, the senators, the governors, they don't have to take it. They don't have to take it. <laughs> but they push it on the people. You got it. It says, in the course of their action shall stand in their power. Why is the course of action going to stand in their power? First and foremost, because it's prophecy. And second of all, because you got these these uh you know these uh police officers, what they a lot of them are, are, are quitting the force. All this is Bible prophecy coming, you know, coming together, man. I remember uh what was the the, the mayor of Chicago? I forgot the woman's name, um, but she said that um certain um you know areas. They don't have a heavy police force. They, they, look, you're just going to be out there. You know, they're going to have no one to come in and, and, and police uh, that part of the city. You got it, bro. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, because the checkpoints, roadblocks, all right? Pestles, diseases, them broke out in this state, all right? You can't go to that state, but you want to go through that state to get to the next state over, all right, instead of going around the state, all right? These things are going to happen, man. Oh, they found out they got resources in that state or in that city. 
All right, and they're gonna try to get this. Just watch these end time prophecy movies, man. They show you these things. Go ahead. He says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the house the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Kind of that's right, man, because of their pride, man. And pride is when one turn for his heart from his maker. All right, you turn of your mind away from your how about shim y'all was shot. All right, thinking that what you accomplished and did everything on your own. All right, you don't need the Lord. All right. The cities are going to be destroyed, man. Uninhabitable. And it's upcoming World War III by those ICBM missiles, man, those intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, that's going to uh, make this place most desolate, man. Okay. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, man, it's going to be people doing things that you never thought would have done. All right. Someone did you call your, your, your homie, your ace? All right. Your man's, you know, you know, him since sandbox, right? <laughs> hey man it's gonna get ugly all right there's no movie out here that can compare to what's getting ready to come down because what's getting ready to go down a man should have no pity upon his neighbor a neighbor somebody you look out for man okay it's gonna get that bad and that's what we're warning you of man so no one did what? Verse 19, the, the lack of bread. All right, they're gonna spoil means to rob. All right, they're gonna rob, take. They're gonna be searching the houses with the sword. Okay? And if you ain't got your help by Shemiah Shah on your side, you're through. If you haven't repented for your wrong thoughts, sins, and doings, you're through, man. And a lot of our people, so that's why they caught up in that pride. They're not gonna repent because they're prideful. They don't think what they're doing is wrong. Uh, if you don't have a pre, you got a precept? Yeah. Bring it up. This is Luke 21 and 16. I mean, Luke 21 and 36. Bam. Hey, look, we're ending off on that right there. Kind. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always. Right. So what are we watching for? We're watching for the prophecies. All right, we're watching for Jacob's trouble. We're watching for the signs that the Lord said is going to happen upon the earth. All right, so we are able to be prepared spiritually and mentally, man, to go through the things that's going to come down upon the earth. We got the heads up. Go ahead. He says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Right, to 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 be considered worthy, right? I'm going to get that definition of worthy. It says, as an adjective, it says, equivalent in value to the sum or item spe uh, uh, specified, all right? So... Mm, not really a good one it's not really a good one but um oh i, I put in worth slackier slackier worthy slackier all right here you go it says uh having or showing is adjective the qualities or abilities that merit recognition in a specific way all right it says good moral upstanding righteous so you won't be found righteous in the eyes of the Lord when he comes back. All right. And how do you do that? Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. All right. Was that it on that, bro? Go on. Hey, so look, man. You know, it's about to get bad out here. Take heed to the warning. All right. Repent and be on your watch, man. All right. Now, the Lord did set a watchman, but look. Israel will be watching too. 
All right. You got to watch where these things is coming, man. That's why I'll be constantly watching the news, constantly articles, clips, and things of that nature, and linking it up with the scriptures. So what? We're able to be found worthy. We're not going to be caught going back into the world, man. You know, we pray the Lord has mercy on us, keep us in his truth. And that's what it's about, man. Seeking the Lord before the evil days come, because they are going to come. You got anything, bro? No. Kind, kind. Look, so Lord was, that's what's edifying. All right. Um, before we close out, we'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly fathers on me, God and Son. Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. 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 Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone. All right, Lord's will, till next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.